Hello everyone, and welcome back once again to Project Zomboid Escape from Raven Creek. And I think this episode might be the one where we finally do it. I'm going to try to get out in this episode because some of you have actually helpfully informed me that the Gerber Ding Dong Breaching Tool actually functions as a sledgehammer. Now, I'm not super familiar with this weapon because it's part of Britta's weapon mod, so I don't usually have it. Oh, <laughs> it literally is a futuristic-looking sledgehammer. Let's see if this doesn't actually work the way you say it does. Mm. Never mind, it looks like it actually doesn't because I don't have the option to destroy anything. Alright, you guys lied to me. It is a sledgehammer. I mean, look at it, it is, but... I don't have the ability to destroy stuff. Well, I'll tell you what, we have got some daylight to burn yet. So why don't we have a look at some of the places we've already checked. Yeah, there is that hospital around the corner. And I would like some beta blockers. Yeah, here we go. And, oh, some of you also pointed out that there is actually a gun shop down here. Now, I'll tell you what, if that is the case, yeah, th there's definitely a sign there. I don't know yet, though, if it's an ad for one, or if it's actually a gun shop itself. This looks like some form of cafe, actually. <laughs> and I do want to get my axe skill up, just because I have so many of them. Uh, but maybe with this many is not the time to be doing training. Ah, oh, what the heck. I got room to kite. Oh, unless something like that happens. Ooh. I wish I had found someone like you earlier. You are very decked out. You've got a bag. You've got a knife. I believe these are a special type of zombie that can spawn that are considered survivor zombies. Much like survivor houses have more loot, survivor zombies have better loot. There's a whole freaking bunch of you. Tell you what. Eh, no, 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 no. Now's not the time. Now's not the time. I was thinking about trying out some of our new firearms. Uh, now would be a great time for the beta blockers. Yeah, this is just too many to train this. Uh, one other problem that the axes have over the machete is that they do use up more stamina to use, to swing, because they're heavier. So I think with that, combined with the panic, combined with the low skill in it, now ain't the time for this. Now ain't the time for any of this at all. Wow, there's so many. In fact, there's so many I'm going to take this corner a lot more quickly because there could be something behind it if I try to kite. I think I have bitten off more than I can chew. I think I should have hit the hospital first to get the beta blockers. But maybe I can still do that. Maybe I can lure them off. I find that if you move alongside a building that has doors and windows, they'll often tend to get caught on those doors and windows. Yeah, I can hear them banging on it. Uh, they'll break it pretty quickly, but this should be doable. Enough time to run over this way. Oh, there is a whole kitchen in there. Now approaching the hospital, and we'll open those gates, deal with what's immediately in front of them, Please do not get me killed, Billboard. And start dealing with the inner population. Now, this being a hospital, that might be a little bit of a tall order. So hopefully we can take this slowly and do only what we need. That's not opening, which means we don't need to deal with you for now. Now, I'm not seeing too much yet. And if anything, we could maybe even just check the backs of these ambulances. I mean, that's where I found the stuff before. It's actually kind of ridiculous that I'm having such a hard time finding beta blockers. They're usually so common. But I have a feeling there could be hundreds of the things inside, so... We want to avoid that if at all possible. Spend as little time here as we can, especially since we're likely to tire ourselves out soon. I'm really happy with the sudden increase in one and two hit kills. Uh, we do have a trauma bag. Two of them, in fact. But they do not contain beta blockers. We do have antibiotics. I'll take those just in case. Excuse me, ma'am. I'm in the middle of something. 
Oh, wow, there's a whole bunch of you coming over here. Uh, you must have heard the fighting from the other side of the fence. I just can't catch a break in this town. Tell you what, we do actually have keys. Any gas? No, not really, but we could always siphon some. We have gas cans back home. We do actually have the means to get this ambulance moving again. And how much do you store? Well, this body has a ton of ammo and a magazine. Magazine, in fact, that's compatible with our AUGs, so we'll have to give that a try. This may actually be a decent vehicle for us to leave in. Uh, this one... Uh, actually also has a key. Yeah, no, I think we can actually use either of these. And, and not a ton of beta blockers, but we do have them. Enough that'll last us a while. It's all we need, really. And a couple of empty gas cans, which we can use to siphon gas. And it has the same amount of storage in the back. Might as well just take this one then, right? Oh, these are a very good find. So, with all that said, do I dare venturing inside to see if there's any more supplies I can get? I mean, having a steady supply of beta blockers this early in the game is very important. I just want to be very careful to make sure I'm removing glass and not climbing through. I am wearing leather gloves, so I'm decently protected. But I could still hurt myself, and I don't want that to happen. I love the environmental storytelling here. You really get a feel for just how packed this place must have been. Venturing upstairs does not feel like a safe thing to do at all, especially with how late it's getting, but I'm kind of in the mood to push my luck. Let's let this buddy in so that he doesn't break the glass and make a lot of noise. Yes, jump scare. I really, really do not feel good venturing into a hospital in a place that's given me so much trouble even just on the streets. Should probably start sneaking here. See, the thing is, if things get too bad, we may even have to jump out a window. As far as I can tell, there's only the one staircase. And when zombies are cornering you or are in danger of doing so, the important thing is you always keep moving. Uh, medical gown, bandages. We've already got plenty of all that. Oh! No, you don't. Uh, and that got the attention of the rest of them. Whoa, 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 no, 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 okay, abort mission, abort mission, abort mission, oh my god, okay, 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 I hope that's the most exciting moment in this part, goodbye, never mind, never mind, never mind, oh, oh, that would have been a way to end the series, ooh, I'm going to I'm going I'm going to start one of the ambulances and bring it outside just in case we can't come back in here later. I think that'll be a smart thing to do. Oh my heart. Oh, why were they all in there? You know, it's actually a really good thing that I didn't spend more time there cuz they were already banging on that door. Oh, of course there's no gas in this one either. It would not have taken them a long time to bust out of there. Tomorrow we'll head to the Cordon and see if we can't actually use the uh, breaching tool to remove those sandbags. If not, we do have to resume the hunt for a regular sledgehammer. But we've got our beta blockers, which is going to make us much more effective at fighting herds in the near future. Awake bright and early, and we are going to get in our vehicle and check the map to see where we're going exactly. 
So we are here and we need to make our way down here up this main highway and then down and to the right and up finally to the cordon. Uh, the mission is to head over there and try and see if we can't use this breaching tool to remove the sandbags. If it can, we're closer to the end of the series than the beginning of it. I want to try and finish this before the new year. And in fact, uh, in the current moment, it is the morning of December 30th, 1254. Uh, so I'm probably going to... Well, this is probably going to be the last thing I record in 2022. That's a gun shop. I'm pretty sure I can see some guns in those cases. Hang on. Can we deal with our tail? I mean, we have been driving down a main roadway in a vehicle. And you know, actually, since we do have the beta blockers now, this should be quite doable. Hang on. Uh, let's take some of those. Just have to be very, very careful. Yeah, I think this is in front of the fire station from before, so we've actually cleared out a lot of what was immediately here. That's gonna really serve us. Now we can be Machete Unleashed. Yeah! Look at how much easier this is. Uh, this is nerve-wracking, to say the least. I am 99% sure they cannot get through these shutters. But I'm now realizing that even if I am able to break in, that's a lot of zombies to fight in an enclosed space. It would really be a nice use for a shotgun, but I just don't have the shells for it. And even then, not being able to do this quietly could potentially draw a lot more in a place like this. It might be possible to make our way in the back here. Yeah, I think that's going to be the move. Being very careful of this door. Some zombies upstairs as well. Oh no. Is it about to be raining then? They're coming from above and below. This is very, very dangerous. I can't do it. I can't go in there while they're banging on that door. I need to clear that room. I mean, there's always going to be the danger of them falling down from above behind me. No, I'm not sure how it works. I don't know if you get XP on a hit or on a kill. Let's see if we can't open this door. I, for obvious reasons, do not really want to try opening this myself. Nope. Whole bunch more. Better for you to come now than later. Yeah, look how quickly that tired us out. That's why the machete really is the better weapon. Yeah, so this thing cannot be used to destroy the shutters themselves. I think this is a waste of time. I don't think I have any way of getting in here without an actual sledgehammer. That's a shame, but we'll figure something out. Look at the absolute battle everything I try to do is. That's why the series is taking so long. But I should be right around the corner from the cordon. Uh, but we can't get there from here. Out of my way. Don't have time for any of this. This truck is getting wrecked. We really do need to leave in the ambulance. Still a construction site right there. But I'm stirring so many of these things. Alright, up here, park high and out of sight. We've already removed all those, uh, all those cars that were in the way. Let's go grab that tool. So these guys are backing me up into trees, and I am not having that. That is a really dangerous place to be for reasons like that. Keep going. Man, I can't do anything. It really is incredible the amount of death I'm able to deal now that I have these beta blockers. I'm telling you, Machete, the best weapon in the game by far. 
I think with Britta's weapon mod, there's even some that add extra durability. Now, as I was saying, we cannot get rid of these. That is so annoying. Can it destroy your face? Hey, look at that, it can. I need to go grocery shopping. Let's remove some of this broken glass so that we have a way in and out besides the doors if need be. Come on. And it's so dark here. But I don't think I actually really need to deal with these guys. I just need snacks. Uh, drink some soda. And what can we eat that's like a ridiculous amount of calories? Ketchup, yep. It'll make us unhappy, but just snarf all that down. Because we need to arrest our weight loss. A whole box of cereal? Chomp it down. Okay, now it's saying I'm too full to eat, so we'll start taking stuff for later. I've never had that before. I've never in this game been told I was too full to eat. TV dinners, a de decent amount of calories, okay. Mac and cheese, yeah, this is the stuff that I should have been grabbing for early on. And look at that, we are going to be gaining weight. And I have the means to gain a little more now, that's good. Now, back to our regularly scheduled zombie killing, because there is a construction site here that can potentially give us a fair chance at a sledgehammer. And at least I hope so. Or no, it's not a construction site, it's some kind of abandoned apartment, maybe? But there are crates on the roof, that's the important thing. Not great, we're drowsy. I think we might have to turn back. Yep. There's a whole bunch of them in there and we're not really going to be able to deal with that. It's too risky. Oh, by the way... You see that huge friggin' blade sticking out of this zombie? Bread knife. That has been the disappointment of so many players. Um, there's quite a sizable herd on our tail. Thank you. Really glad you decided to get moving in a reasonable time frame now. Of course, there's more on our street. There's always more on our street. Of course. Look at this. This is after. After I ditched that other herd and led it around the corner. I just want to go to sleep. I am so sick of doing this every night. How many times have I cleared this street? Alright, new plan. There's a decent amount of distance. We run back, climb into our house, and hope nobody sees us do it. Because we cannot fight anymore. Inside we go. We'll heat up a TV dinner. I don't know if we have a microwave, but we can probably do it in an oven. And that's going to be that. Howdy, folks. Sorry, I had to take a little rest, but now I'm ready to get back to you. Because I haven't checked in a while, let's see how Horace Barnes is doing. We have 13 days and 23 hours, so about to be two weeks. And we have killed 987 zombies. Just for an idea of how things are going in this city. There is a bookstore down here. And this looks like some kind of industrial area. This is just down the block from the Cordon. Maybe we can do something with this. Alright, time for beta blockers. Alright. And I am most likely... Yep, there we go! Great place to end that herd. I am officially Mr. 1000. Now the question is, how are we getting into here? Well, I'm pretty sure we can pick up these roadblocks or disassemble them. Do we want to spend the time on this? May as well, right? Uh, 
That's right, you start banging on the gate. Attract all your friends. So long as you finish that after I'm done with this. This is, this is kind of dangerous now. This is really quite dangerous now. Sir, can you please hurry up? Thank you. Okay, goodbye. Yep! Woo! That ended just in time. But I do have the means to deal with you, at least. You're not too many. Nothing like the herd that I just had to deal with. Hey, bud. Door's open, you know. I think there's another one coming around from the side. Yep, that's why I'm not moving in. Die, thank you. Yeah, door is still open. You could have come for me at any time. If we move our way into the yard, there's all these containers which may be openable. We do have axes to destroy them if need be. No thanks to the Gerber tool. And if we head into those buildings, yeah, there's potentially a lot here. I'm really, really hoping to find a sledgehammer now. Oh, there's some in the containers. No idea how that happened. Whoa! There's a whole bunch in the containers! Okay, run, 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 run. That's uh, not that way, though. Anywhere but that way. Oh, my kingdom. My kingdom for some shotgun shells. Should have just taken what stock I had and carried it with me anyway. Only hope, I think, is to get you onto the street and hope we can funnel you through here and maybe deal with you in slightly more of a trickle. But you'll break that gate fairly quickly. Alright, this is what I wanted. But it did not buy me much time at all. Look at all of you. Maybe I might be better off bringing you around the corner. Just leading you out and away. Oh, well, I've unleashed this on the city. And why are so many of you in this playthrough wearing the bunny outfit? And why have I never taken one? Lead them around the fence. A bunch of them will get stuck trying to climb over it, which will buy me enough time to narrow them. These fences can be very helpful if you use them correctly. Bang. 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 Uh, that took some doing. Ooh, and there's a survivor. You got some good stuff. How many was that? We are now up to 1,043, so it's not as many as I thought, but it's still quite a handful. Let's just have our morning entire box of cereal. I had to gain weight for medical reasons a couple years ago, and this is honestly what it feels like, just eating everything in sight, trying to put on pounds. That was like two years ago. I've only recently, in the last like couple months, managed to lose it again. A lot easier to gain than it is to lose. At least- Oh, no! They're falling off of the crane or whatever's up there! It's raining men again, only this time directly on my head. It's honestly incredible in this part how there's been so many, like, almost Walking Dead-style, like, set-piece attacks. The hospital, that container, the ones falling from above. You would think it would break their legs and turn them into crawlers. I think it's planned to do that at some point. Like, there's going to be more complex... falling. Oh, how many of them are up there? Apparently at least four more. You know how many zombies you have to fight to tire yourself out with a machete? Oh wow, it looks like there's actually a couple of survivors. One of them 
even has the Spiffo backpack. Did you fall from above as well? Oh, I want your stuff. Got a hand axe. Uh, you had a backpack, didn't you? Yeah, but there's nothing much in it. Nice hair. Yes! Okay, finally! Okay, yeah, we are doing this. We are doing this in this part. Got it! Thank you. Yeah, coming here was a great find. I'm sure there's still a lot of good stuff here. But I think it would suit me more to get a move on. Let's just take your leather gloves in case we take some damage on the hand. Yeah, we are good to go. We've got plenty of propane in the back if we need it. And now we can set about removing that stuff. In fact, there's still enough hours in the day that we could do it now. We're gaining weight. Things are looking up for little old me. Look. Shares. They were actually having a party in here. Unbelievable. I think, I mean, it's heavy, but I think I'm also going to take this generator with me. If only just because, like, we'll maybe need it wherever we end up. I mean, remember, no, I don't want to pick up the floor. I want to pick up the generator. We also don't have the book to learn how to use it, but uh, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. I'm thinking about the long-term future of this character. Like, past the end of this series. This thing takes like 50 tries to start now. I am barely exaggerating. Actually, while we're at it, I should probably check the bookstore just to see if they have a generator manual. Or any of the other things I need. Carpentry. We'll want that. Something I absolutely adore about this game is how knowledge really is power. I mean, it's one thing to be good at combat and to survive on your own for a time, but it's another thing entirely to bring in all the skills that you'll need to survive long term. And that's the strength of this game, is that it's all about the long term. Well, unfortunately, I wasn't able to find a generator manual, but I did nevertheless find a lot of good info to help me survive once I'm out of here. Once I'm no longer dependent on the stores that dot the city. We are also really filling up the back of this thing, so we're really going to have to start prioritizing. I've seen a couple of trailers that we can potentially grab, but I've never done that before. I'm not exactly sure how that works. And now we had the ability, finally, to destroy. Now even though we do have this ability, it might take a little while to get this done, for the simple reason that swinging the sledgehammer and destroying things does use quite a bit of stamina, and it's likely to exhaust us. I think we should be fine destroying three of these in each column. That should be more than enough for us to comfortably fit through. Huh. I can't believe we got through that whole thing without getting tired. Well, let's start removing some of these potential other threats, the small things that could stop our moving. And with that, I believe we're actually able, fully capable now, of getting our vehicle through. Let's just have a quick look and see. I'm pretty sure we can get over these concrete dividers. I mean, if I can walk over them, the car should be able to drive over them. We've removed enough cars here. I think if we just remove that one with the propane torch, which we can do when we go to leave, I think it's a straight shot out of here. All right, 6 a.m. It's been 14 days, 21 hours, and we have killed 1,086 zombies. Today's the day, and we are going to try to leave Raven Creek. 
I am leaving a lot behind in doing this, but I've loaded a lot of the essentials that I'll need for outside of an urban environment into the back of the truck, and I'm going to try to load it into that ambulance. If nothing else, we'll be filling up that gas tank, siphoning out what's left of this, and putting it into the ambulance, because this thing is not in great shape at this point. It stalls, I can't get it to start half the time, and it's not what I need when I'm out on the open road. Let's do it. Now, for to grab that ambulance, I think it'll be safest if we swing around to this side. Yeah, a lot of dead, but nothing we can't handle. Alright, we'll save our beta blockers for the moment. I think the machete should be sufficient. Crazy how this is doable. However, it is not going to be doable without beta blockers. Sledgehammer once again coming in handy. And we can now open that. Who cares about logic? I think we'll gas up the smaller of the two. And I think we start... Let's back them up close together so that we're in reach of both. And then we can just easily transfer one inventory over to the other. And luckily that herd we released inside hasn't found its way out. Or if it has... It hasn't made it into the parking lot. But we can siphon gas from our current vehicle, which is good because it's still mostly full despite all the driving we've been doing. And we can then take all of that and place it inside the ambulance. Along with the rest of our inventory. Let's take the trauma bags with the fewest things in them and just drop those on the ground. We don't need a tire pump, we don't need surgical gloves or a hospital gown. That'll save us some space, which we can use for all of this. Okay, I'm weighing this up, and we don't really need all these things. And we don't know what we're going to find along the way, so let's... We have enough axes. We need the generator. I'm going to bring that fake sledgehammer with us anyway, just because it's kind of grown on me. Uh, we're also going to want to, of course, bring the real sledgehammer. Uh, and the propane tank, which is actually mission critical. Hear them moving along outside the fence. I think now would be a good time to ride. And that is not a lot of gas, even with the full tank in there. This thing probably uses a lot, which isn't the best thing. Before we really get going, though, there's one loose end, one piece of equipment that I'd really hate to end this series without getting to use at least once. And since it seems like the opportunity has more or less passed, I figure why not do it recreationally? Take some beta blockers. Stand a safe distance back. Or what passes for safe. Oh. And... Oh, this is... This is real nerve-wracking. You don't have to stand right there! Ugh. Oh, that was just one layer. Run, 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 run! Drop the sledgehammer, and... Nope, 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 through here. Who's coming? <laughs> this really is just a for fun thing. You really get a sense now for why I really didn't want to try this with such low aim. But a volume of fire is a legitimate tactic. And I didn't even need to break that door open for this. That might have been the most dangerous thing I've done in this entire playthrough. Look at how horrific that is. Ah, oh, the absolute garbage of low aim. Uh. I 
The annoying thing is, now I gotta lead all this away. Like if I lead them back here, that should buy me enough time. Even coming down here, a lot of them will end up trapped hitting doors. A lot of the ones around the front are doing the same. If I just run away and break line of sight, that leaves us with uh, them fairly spaced out. Man, this was so not worth doing. I thought it was going to be like a cool moment where I just spray down everything inside that gun store. Not so. And now I have to go back for the sledgehammer, because who knows what'll be in our way. Look at this. Horace Barnes just cannot stop killing. I should title this video Bloodbath 2. Okay, so the reason... I don't know if everybody saw my comment explaining it. The reason why that happened was because I had no internet the day before that video went live. And since I had used the template from the previous video for that upload, I couldn't change it in time for it to go live. Nope. Might as well get our lootables from here, since we were waiting so long for it. Now, what have we got? Uh, 223, 4570, 45 ACP. I'm only really interested in 9 mil and shotgun shells, 12 gauge specifically. Yeah, I don't know what it is. For all the good stuff we're finding here, and it is a lot of good stuff, we're just not finding any shotgun shells. That is so annoying. Perhaps there's more in here, but we burned too much daylight already. And we need to get going. I kind of am tempted to try and take that trailer, but I think you need a key for the trailer as well, and I don't think we're going to get lucky with that. We don't want to draw too much attention coming through here, because pretty shortly we are going to have to stop and get out and disassemble one of these wrecks. But moment of truth, let's see if this has given us enough room to maneuver through here. This is what this has all been leading to. Huh? Getting caught on the sandbags a little bit. Getting caught on these concrete things as well. But we made it through there. What about through this narrow passageway? And we made it through here as well. Push through that. I think the road ahead is clear. If we can get through here... Uh... Hmm. Do I bother to disassemble that, or can I just, you know, oopsie on through? Yeah, that seems the better option. Let's go. Oh, I'm getting drowsy. That's not really good. Tell you what, while we're at it, uh, can we maybe siphon some gas from this stuff? Taking as much as we possibly can. We do have a few magazines with the rifle, but that's probably going to have even worse aim than the M60, huh? Nothing here. We can siphon from you. Not a whole lot, but it's something. Now, if need be, uh, one trick we can do... Oh, there is trouble ahead... One trick we can do is to put our driver's side window against one of these walls and sleep in the seat. And they shouldn't be able to get at us. I did that a bunch of times in my playthrough last year where I cleared the prison. Here it is, the tunnel. We may need the sledgehammer to destroy some of this stuff, actually, which means we're going to have to fight. I'm thinking maybe we try and call it for the night at this tunnel entrance. Of course, once we're free and clear. Yeah. That speech is supposed to be disturbing, but if anything, it just makes me feel better about ending their predicament. And even drowsy, we are starting to do very, very well. It is kind of early to go to sleep. 
So I think what we do, and thank goodness there are still some lights on in here. I'm really glad we're getting to here before the power goes out. I think we start traversing this river and see what lies ahead. It looks like there's some side tunnels as well. And I really don't like that back towards the front of the tunnel, I could still hear some zombies. In fact, I can hear them here as well. Oh, we're almost playing Metro now. Oh, looks like the military set up some kind of encampment inside the tunnel itself. No getting through here on your own. And I did neglect to bring a saw, which means we'll have to pick those things up and move them. Probably remove the stop signs with a sledgehammer. But maybe we can find some useful loot here. Before we go into those barracks, we'll come... Oops. We'll come up top to make sure it doesn't start raining men again. Nothing here. It's surprisingly quiet. Looks like the military all abandoned their post at some point. It's so eerie looking at all this. The way everything breaks down. The things they tried to do and having to leave knowing that they only made things worse. Uh, pistol suppressor, rifle suppressor. I'll take all that. Yeah, some good stuff here. Canister of 9 mil and a canister of shotgun shells, finally. I do have some on me. And I did load up the, uh, the shotgun that I have on me. It looks like it does open up again. There is somebody back here. Yeah, there's something. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of them in there. I'm not sure if they can get out or not. I'm going to assume they can. But we will need the sledgehammer to break through the end there. All right, we're also greatly over encumbered. So if anything's going to happen, I'm going to want it to happen back more towards this way. Get away from me. Get away. Kill you while we can. And get moving. I'm not going to be happy about going to sleep with all you guys loose in the tunnel like this. And where did you come from? That is great cause for concern. Hang on, I'm going to start dropping stuff to lose this encumbrance. These doors aren't broken down. You must have followed me in from behind. So we are not entirely safe, no matter how much we'd like to think so. I only hope that parking against the wall is enough to save me. Yeah, and they're following me out of the tunnel. I have to kill them. That one, even with keen hearing, that one almost got me. The nerfs from being tired. We're in the home stretch, but I have to keep reminding myself that we are not out of the woods yet. Not by a long shot. Alright, I don't see anything further back up the road. That should be everything in the tunnel. We've got guys screwing around outside in the woods, but they shouldn't be a threat to me. I think we stop right here, and it is difficult to tell when you're exactly there. Uh, I'm afraid to sleep with the AC on, but we can have it on its most minimal setting. And I think we go for it. Not safe to sleep here. Look, I know we can see a zombie, but... Man, I just don't know what else to do. Am I going to have to destroy some of these things and sleep in the tunnel? I feel like that's even less safe. Alright, let's just pull ourselves up along to the side. At least we'll probably be less appetizing to anything that may walk in behind us during the night. I'm mainly concerned about those side tunnels. 
We know those iron bars are breakable. You can just ignore these visual glitches here. We know that those bars are breakable. It's just a matter of how long they'll last and whether they can still get to me, nevertheless. Let's go to bed. I have to say it's better than the burned building. Not the worst sleep we've had in this series so far. All right, we awake feeling refreshed and ready to take on the end of the barricade. Now as we come up on this, I think we're, I can hear them banging. I think maybe on one of those tunnel doors back there. We're going to need to destroy all this stuff if we're to get through. Let's just do a quick check to make sure there's nobody back here that's going to sneak up on us while we do it. Do not like walking through blinds like that. Maybe there will be some useful stuff here. I'm hoping something I can eat. We have gained a lot of our weight back, and we've lost the underweight trait, which is going to help us a lot. That's going to help us uh, be more effective in combat. I'm so glad I can see you through these things. That should be this tunnel clear. More beta blockers. Fancy of you to join us. I have lots of adhesive bandages and all this stuff. Unfortunately, nothing to eat. Well, let's not forget also to grab all this stuff. Uh, no, not the boxes, the containers. Want to put that in the back of the ambulance where we can use them later. Yeah, I can hear them hitting things all over. We need to be careful going forward. The tunnel is relatively safe, but we're going to be doing hard work here. And we don't want anything sneaking up in the dark. I'm hoping this is the last thing we need to get through. It kind of makes me wonder which direction these soldiers had to abandon their post in. Of course it's going to make it difficult by making me do each part of the stack individually. So close I can taste it. I think we're going to want to knock out at least three units of this in order to get through. There it is. Uh, we could take our freedom for ourselves right now if we wanted. But that's not what we're after. Sounds, though, like we have brought company. Yep. Well, that didn't last long, did it? All right, uh... Drop the sledgehammer. We don't need it right this second. We will again in a few more seconds. Hey guys, welcome to Raven Creek. Hope you enjoyed your stay. Looks like they have broken out of their side tunnel, which means anything else could still get out of there. More of them down that way. All right, let's make this quick. Let's break you down. Let's just move. Sorry. Tours are closed for the day. Now, can we perhaps take this sledgehammer, put it back in the other seat? Still have our shotgun. And daylight once more. Uh-oh. I don't like the idea of taking my chances on the roads. I think we will have to fight this the old-fashioned way, unfortunately. Shotgun on the ground? Er, mm, we could use it. I just don't know how much is around us. Are these the folks trying to get in? Or are they just people who didn't get out quite as well as they would have liked? Either way, I'm here to... And their problems now. And I'm so good with these things, even with debuffs.
That went way smoother than expected. I love a vehicle that just starts up on the first try reliably. It's taken a beating, but it's doing a very good job by us. I'm really starting to love this thing. Oh, look. Just that freeing feeling of being able to speed down the road. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. Okay. I really hope these guys aren't going to be able to navigate around and start pouring in through those holes in the sides. That would be dreadful. If that happens, we may have to start using our shotgun shells. Uh, let's clear whatever's on our side and start working on this, shall we? Kill you. Unfortunately, the amount of weight carried on our encumbrance is going to start to be affected by how little food we have in our system. But I suppose now is not a bad time to start a zombie turkey shoot. I mean, why not, right? We have all the time in the world to aim. You see what I mean about shotguns and how you really need to train up your aim first? Well, no time like the present. I'm just realizing now we are actually being affected by panic. Uh, I think we don't need to worry so much about these guys on the side, as we should be worrying about these guys back here. Yeah. I don't know why I can't aim at you. Oh, need a new mag, which I loaded up before the events of today. I said load a new mag. Thank you. Should have about three more of these. You down? Why can't I aim at you? I think there's some weird line of sight bugs going on here. Wow, that's... Mmm. Mmm. Alright, let's clear out what we can. But that's going to be easier said than done. I think we expend all our 9 mil doing this. I think this should be our last mag. We can fill more. We got a bunch more from the cordon and from the gun store. But we really don't have great chances at level 1 aiming. It's because we never found shotgun shells and we never got to train it up. Also, a certain percentage of them are making their way through. And that's really not good for us. You've got 9 mil. You've got a magazine as well. It's loaded too. Well, that's very convenient. Yeah, we've got to clear... We want to clear this side. We want to clear this side so that once it's open, we can blaze on through. We may actually have to sleep here as well. Alright, let's get to work. Removing this stuff. Getting intense panic, working alongside all those zombies. Great, we got more metal working. Well, look, now that I'm looking at it, I'm thinking it might be more efficient to just leave this lane open, sledgehammer our way through all this, and then break that open. But of course, we'll need them off of here for that to work. It's really starting to cause me issues just the length of time that I have to spend here. Not necessarily fatal. I mean, I could always go back into the city and grab some food. I'm just saying, it's going to be an issue. I'm really not going to have it in me to try and fight this head-to-head, -head, I don't think. And also, we really need to clear what's on here, too. In fact, you know what? Since they can't break this... Now may be a good time to take some beta blockers and use something like the hunting knife. Let us ready the beta blockers. Wait for our panic to subside a little bit. We have two magazines full. We can load more, but I'd rather not because it takes forever. Look at how bad that is. 
Well, we have better aiming, so it's a little better now. This is working slowly but surely. Can't beat the low, low price of basically free to kill them. It's about eliminating danger. Don't worry about resources if you can keep yourself alive. Resources are essentially a life budget. And we are getting better at this. That's it. All right, now... You're off of that thing, but I'm still concerned about when I get through. Because remember, I have to break three of these things to get a vehicle through. Let's not put ourselves in danger before we have to. No, I don't want you to push them over. That actually doesn't make a whole ton of sense, Horus. What I want is for you to stab them through the bars Walking Dead style. Yeah. That is cool. You never get an opportunity to do this in this game. Except in instances like this. You gotta be at the right distance where you can do this without pushing them over. It's also a little bit annoying that you guys don't bunch up on the fence like this. That would actually save me a tremendous amount of effort. But we are carving our way through them, slowly but surely. Great, now on top of everything we're starting to get drowsy. Tell you what, I think... I can't afford to sleep. I just can't, I don't have any food. Maybe we can find like a Slim Jim or something in somebody's glove box? Oh. Can we eat the lipstick? We can't, uh... Tell you what, I am going to make a tactical retreat. A bunch of them on the road. We're going to sleep in the tunnel again. It's a lot less safe than it was before. No food here. And in the morning, we'll come and deal with the rest of this. I have opened up all the ammo, all the shotgun ammo we got from that crate. We use this thing as a weapon, as a last resort. All right, regrettably, I've had to drive this thing all the way back. And I'm hoping I can maybe find some food in the fridge in the main building here. Okay, great. There's some milk. I will drink all of that. We are, after all, still on the quest to gain weight. And it will help at least somewhat with our hunger. Hopefully there's more here. I hate to have to come back in here, but it really is necessary. Yes, lots and lots of canned food. All right, let's open all this up and eat it. Bring some with us, of course. Ooh, and... We get to have some ice cream. At least there's some kind of bright spot on an otherwise pretty bleak day. Once again, we sleep by the side of the road. Turning on the AC, so, yeah, let's run it. Let's run it. It didn't kill us last night. Let's run the AC. And tomorrow there's nothing to stop us. Well, except the possibility of death. That could potentially stop us. Uh, they've broken through back there as well. I'm hoping to just leave this behind. There's nothing else really lootable here. I think if we just keep moving forward, we'll be good. The only problem we may have is the ones coming through the gap in the fences behind us when we're actually closer to the thing. I'm not worried about what's here because it's very far away. I think we... Uh, and again... Oh no, it's right here. It's actually much further up than I thought, closer to the tunnel. Yeah, but there has been a fair bit of leakage since last night. Those guys have probably started wandering my way. They might stop... But I don't know how much I want to take that chance. You guys have largely dispersed. Okay, here's what we do. Here's what we do. We take the shotgun, we, which we now have plenty of shells for. That's called, uh, that's called Chekhov's gun, right? Uh, it's the thing that was foreshadowed the entire time, and now we finally get to use it? 
That's not really what that is, but I'm saying it is. It's a plot device, is what I'm saying. And some of this playthrough has almost played as if it were scripted. I'm actually really happy with the way it's coming out, but that's the thing about Project Zomboid, is that it really makes for some good emergent storytelling. That's what I was hoping for, and that's exactly what I got. I believe we do have more beta blockers that we found. But this shotgun should enable us to do much, much more damage than anything we've been doing previously. Boom. See, it can even kill multiple because of the spread from the buckshot. You guys are really making this pretty easy, huh? The only problem is it's loud as anything. So anything from the back, anything that's further into this base could potentially come a knockin'. As well as anybody further down there, I suppose. I'm really confused by their behavior here. You would think they would be able to see me. Let's continue this turkey shoot. Finally leveling up our aiming. Ironically, now the rifle would probably do a little bit better. After we've already expended a lot of our ammo for it. Bang. 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 As long as we have ammo, we just want to keep using it for this. We're making sure that there is as little resistance as possible when we finally come out. Bang. 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 Can't see you because of the sandbags, I guess. Bang. And bang. I said bang. Now, that is looking like a considerably more manageable threat once we finally do tear down this barricade. I think it's time for us to go get our hands on that sledgehammer. More of you have gathered up. Bang, bang, bang. Did you hear that? That was really eerie sounding. Uh, but I still can't get a shot on you, okay. Well, I'm sure I'll draw your attention the instant this first block is destroyed. But I will have to clear this out. Because we can't go driving through until at least three are broken. Yep. Okay, let's pull back. And get ready to deal with whatever comes through. Oh, wow. Okay, they're all going to navigate here now. Alright, I think then the move is going to be to drop the sledgehammer. Equip the shotgun in both hands. We have all of our shells on us. This is what it's been leading up to. We're good with the machete. The shells are just free kills until then. I love shotguns in this game. We're starting to get panicked again, though, but... Seems like that barrier is largely clear. That guy has a ghillie suit, and I would like it. First breath outside. Right, stand on you. <laughs> it's kind of funny how I've reverted to advice that hasn't been relevant since the beginning. But there we are. And there is your ghillie suit, and I would like it. Thank you. I consider it a new bathrobe, since I forgot to bring the other one. Although I do regret missing the slippers. Something that's kind of cool, I think this is a Brita's weapon mod thing. You can see our hulls and shell casings and all that actually end up as objects on the ground. I believe that's a feature of Brita's weapon mod and not the stock game. But I think it's really cool, you can actually take those and reload them. Freedom is looking us right in the face at last. There was so much more to this than I thought there would be, and... Hey, look. 
Hang on, it's only now that I'm realizing something kind of cool. The water bottle that we've been using this entire time is that bottle of bourbon that, uh, that we poured in the homeowner's grave. Now, that one is still alive, huh? Actually, wait. Just because this is our chance to check, uh, is the military backpack better than the one I have? Uh, it's about the same. It's about the same. It's a little bit better. A little bit better. We'll take it. Why not? And you've got beef jerky, which I would like to eat. Ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. All you speed bumps, away we go. Uh, will we be able to navigate around this? I think uh, there's always another one. Unfortunately, we do need another conventional fight because there is one piece broken in the grate up ahead. But man, I don't know what my guy is so worried for. After everything we've been through... This is nothing. This is nothing. I'm confident now that Horace Barnes, that shaggy-looking guy, that coward that was up on the roof in the beginning... I mean, look at him now. He's become the apocalypse. He's what you think of when you think of apocalyptic media. That's what long-term zombie survival media is all about. The Walking Dead, Project Zomboid, all that stuff. It's about seeing how people change, and how they don't change. I'd like to think that <laughs> this guy who loots bathrobes off of corpses and locates water to wash them... I like to think he's still at heart the same guy, just with a set of skills that he never thought he'd have to learn. This is the choke point I've wanted for the entire game. All right, let's go back, take some beta blockers. I'm so glad to finally have these things. Uh, this is basically going to be like a movie that I end the series on at this point. I am recording for like three hours or something like that. And we're not done yet. And like all challenges, it falls in a bloody mess before my feet. All right, let's do this now. Unless there's even more barricades further up the road that the game would like me to know about. I think removing this should be all I need. We could loot this place. We really could come through here and get all kinds of cool military lootables. But look, this thing is full. I'm struggling with the inventory that I have. And it's not going anywhere. I, however, am. Uh, if we take a look at our map... Uh, look at all that. Look how far we've come. I'm gonna get out of there because I would get bitten on the back of the neck as we're reading the map to celebrate our freedom. But until we've completely passed the cordon, we are not free yet. I really love what the map creator has done with this place making it such a real adventure getting out of here. An absolute gauntlet with the reward of escaping that absolute nightmare of an environment. It's like taking a breath of fresh air. Look at all of that green ahead of us. That's a sight we haven't seen in this entire playthrough. Remember when I buried the owner of the tower, and I said I would bury her in the one patch of green in a sea of buildings? We made it to the green. How crazy is this? Of course things aren't any better on the outside, but... Well, they kind of are, aren't they? They kind of are, because now we're free. Wherever we settle down, there won't be nearly as much to fight through as where we came from. And we have so many more skills. We actually learned how to survive in the most hostile environment possible. 
But here we can blare our sirens and know that we can deal with whatever comes. We've gotten out. Oh, thank you for joining me on this journey. This has been absolutely incredible. It worked out so much better than I thought. I thought it was going to be a couple parts and a couple hours shorter than this. Uh, but here we are. I'm pretty sure I just heard a turkey gobble. Oh, and what a welcome sight this is. I'm really hoping to get this final video out before the new year. But if I don't, Happy New Year? Well, I suppose Happy New Year either way. This thing does have two sides after all. And thank you for joining me again, and if you like this series, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more creepy and comfy content. If you have any ideas for other videos you think I should do, the best place to suggest that will be at the Discord, which I will link in the description. If you want to try this game out for yourself, which how could you not after seeing this series, it's very cheap, and that link will also be in the description. And as always, I will see you in the next one. Actually, before we go, uh, let's check what we've got. Horace Barnes, our survivor, in 17 days, a mere two weeks and three days, it feels like so much longer, has killed 1,360 zombies. Quite a transformation indeed.